Greetings After Effects buddies, let's take a look at making a really easy to animate bar graph. So for the background, I've just got this stock image of some graph paper, okay, filling the screen there. And next, let's put in a new, okay, a new null object. And this we will use later as a kind of controller. So I'll rename this percentages, just so we know what it is, okay. And okay, I'm going to make that a different color in the label as well to separate it from the solid objects. So I'm going to go to layer, new solid. Okay, and we'll start by guessing maybe a hundred width, a thousand height, and I'll call this bar one. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I need to move this into the right place. So let's get this. Well, I want it to start, okay, and maybe just zoom up a little so I can get it right on the corner there. Okay, that looks good. And I need to make it the width, I think, of two of these bars, and also I want it to hit 100% at the top so it hits one of the bars. Okay, so maybe here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the anchor point. If I click on the tool here, the pan behind tool or hit the Y key. Okay. And if I move the anchor point, if I hold down command, I can make it snap. Okay. So I'll snap to this corner and then I can go to solid settings. Okay. And I can increase the width. There we go until it fills that there. That looks about right. One, two, eight. And then take the height down a little. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we've filled in two of these sections here. Okay, so we'll hit OK. And now I'm going to duplicate this, Command D. Okay, and I'm going to just move the position along, hit P, move the position along. So I'm now, again, I might just scale up just to see I'm in the right spot, use my space bar, just uh, get it nicely in place so they're nice and even. That looks about, that looks pretty good. So here's a little trick to make more of these without having to reposition them. Okay, so I'm going to parent this one, our second bar here, to the bar beneath with the pick whip tool, so parent here. I'm then going to duplicate that top layer. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to parent that top layer to the layer beneath it. And it's going to move it by the same distance along. So then I'll duplicate that. I'll hold down Alt. All right. Now we're rocking. We're just doing a bunch of these by just parenting them to the layer beneath. Control D, Command D. Boom. Another one. Just keep parenting. One more. One D. And there we've got a nice row of bars. Now, of course, I don't want them all to be moving simultaneously. So I'll just take all the parents and switch them back to none. So that's just a fast tip for if you want to sort of space things out evenly with parenting and using the Alt key there. Okay, so now we've got these. So now I want to put an expression on these. And I can do this really without having to write anything. Okay, I've seen lots of like variations of this of how you have to write the expression. But we can do it just with the pit whip. So let me open, press E for the uh, percentages. And what I'm going to put on there, I've not put it on yet, which is why nothing was showing, is a slider control. Okay, and I'll name this... Uh, bar one okay okay and then i'm going to hit on this layer here scale okay and i'm going to hit the alt key here alt on there on the stopwatch transform scale scale okay so then what i can do is i can use the pick whip to pick whip this to our just our scale properties 
and you get okay if I just open this up a little so you can see it there you go you get this transform scale zero temp temp so temp one refers to the width temp two refers to the height so if I just take that and then pick with that and I just need to go to my percentages here and pick with that to the slider okay so now oops let's do that properly select the temp pick with that to the slider okay click out and now our slider controls just the height okay so I've had, I haven't had to write anything there so now I can just type in a value 50% okay add a keyframe and so we're going from 50 to 75% there we go so I've animated that okay then I'll just du duplicate this bar 2 okay and I can just say copy expression only go to this hit V hit E twice to see this and change in here bar 1 to bar 2 so I'm just changing the text bar 1 bar 2 so now we've got click out of that to oops there we go click out of that and go into our effect controls here we've got this bar 2 okay so that now controls that so I can then just keep going through these pasting the expression hit E twice to see the expression and just change well now I'll need on here duplicate this command D duplicate I've got bar 3 so now I can change that to bar 3 just click outside to close it we've got a bar 3 slider okay and just keep going through that and now you've got this one null object window which we can lock just to keep it open all the time and then uh, you've got yourself a set of sliders bar one bar two bar three which correspond to all these bars and of course we can just go into our solid settings and make it a bit more interesting by kind of going through them you know and oops changing the colors like so so I've said blue one okay uh, yeah and then do that solid setting just going through them let's have a yellow one okay okay so now we've got all these sliders we can keyframe them we've just got one window here which we can use to animate everything okay and we didn't have to write any expressions we just used the pick whip and all we had to do for the further ones was just change the number to correspond to the number of the bar in the null object okay so that is an easy way to create a bar graph which is nice and simple to animate thanks for watching